completely unbeknownst to him, my relationship with John Tranter began sometime either in 1993 or just afterwards when he attended the Literary Festival in Wellington, New Zealand. He was reading from The Floor of Heaven and I just, I adored the reading and I adored the book and I've read it many, many times since. One of the ironies of that way of me as an American coming to Tranter is that this that particular book is set largely in the United States and so in a way was an extremely sideways introduction to a man who is perhaps better known for his incredible evocations of Sydney. John Tranter is now one of our greatest poets. Um, he is an incredibly prolific poet editor runs a crazy, crazy, wonderful website and blog, which is definitely worth a look, and continues to produce award-winning collections of poetry, most recently Starlight 150 poems. I think the thing for me about having Tranter here is that Tranter is in some ways a kind of literary memory of, of contemporary Australian literature, especially poetry. He, was, he created Jacket, the magazine. But more importantly, I think it's an occasion to hear him read his work. And um, as I remember so fondly from now, what I realize is almost 20 years ago, he is an extraordinary presence on the stage and it's just, I think with poetry, we always have to remember that there's, a, there's one experience when you read a book of poetry, but the true experience is to see that writer reading. And I really look forward to seeing him again and hopefully getting a little floor of heaven out of him.